In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a vertical menu just like this in your Elementor website for free. Let's get started. So with our vertical menu we are going to create, we'll be able to navigate to any page on our website using that vertical menu. Okay. And it will look just beautiful like this, having all these kind of gradient effects. And we can even navigate to the blog post that we have on our website. And we can even go to different pages just like you see right here. To create this kind of vertical menu, you may either have Elementor Pro or you may not have Elementor Pro. Whatever you have is okay to get started. The number one thing you're going to need is a plugin called HTMega Addons. And it's a free plugin that we can get in the WordPress repository by simply going to add new plugin and search for HT, HTMega you'll be in position to find that plugin right here. Simply install and activate. And once it's activated, it will show up right here. So simply click over there. And right here, you make sure that you enable the menu builder. Once you enable the menu builder, you'll be in position to access the vertical menu widget. So simply save. Once you save, now you have two options. If you have Elementor Pro, simply open up your header template with Elementor by going over to your theme builder to the save templates and then you open up your header template if you don't have Elementor Pro simply create a template and follow this tutorial now in this case I simply added a new section just like this section and I added this other top section here which I'm simply going to copy I'm going to paste it over here for the interest of time and then the same I created another section and that section is a section that is holding our vertical menu so I created it and then I added a background image. So I'll simply copy this and then I'll paste this right here. So it is a section having a background image. And then I added two columns and one column is 25% and the other column is 75%. Let me delete this section. Now the next thing I did was simply to come over here to the widgets area and then I search for vertical and here I get the vertical mega menu widget then I dragged it over to this section. The 25% is basically to give a definition of how much space my vertical menu and the other column should take. So by clicking over here then I am in position to select the menu I want to be as my vertical menu. So basically to create a menu go back to your dashboard come to appearance and when you come under menus, then here you're in position to create a menu for your WordPress website. By clicking over here to create a new menu and say create a menu. And then here you give your menu a name. Let me say demo menu. And then I create that menu. And then I'm in position to add items to my menu. And then I save. That way you have created your menu. And that menu can always be echoed right down here. So in this case, I don't need this menu. I'll delete it. And then these are the two menus that you see that are appearing in my dropdown, the vertical menu and the menu, which are these two here. Now, the other items that you see here on my menu, those are called submenu items. These are the ones. Now, when I open up my vertical menu, I select it over here. I simply add it submenu items under the blog. So to create submenu items, you simply come over here to your pages or custom links or posts, and then you add your custom menus. For example, I come over here, then I say add to menu by selecting that menu item. And then I come over here to any section that I want to add the submenu item, then I add it right over there. And once you add it there, simply hit save. And that submenu item will appear here in your menu item. Let me try to save this. Then I'll reload. You realize that we have another submenu item just like this one here. Now the other thing we had to do was simply to style up our section. For example, when you click over here this widget of the vertical menu and come over here to style, we are in position to style up our main menu. In this case, we can style up our background for the menu. So in this case, I came over here to the background, clicked on the gradient icon, and I added a color for our gradient for the vertical menu. And I gave it an angle 
which is something like this. And that's how we come to have that gradient in the background. And you can do a lot more other customizations like the padding. You can even add borders. And you can also align your menu items right there, whether in the middle or in the left, whatever you want. Now, the other thing I had to do was now to come here to the main menu items, which are the items right here, the words. And then I had to give them a color, which is white. And then I came to the typography. I increased the weight, gave it like 500 like 700 maybe and that means that all the menu items are having the same style that I'm applying okay next thing I had to do was to add the hover effect so by coming over here to the main menu items come to the hover section and then I had to make changes to the background type which is this one here and I added a gradient right there so this was the color something like that and then right here I made just a small switch so that when someone hovers over our menu item this appears even on the sub menu items then what I did was simply to change the angle a little bit and then also change the location of the other color and that's how I came up with this kind of gradient on my menu items once you are done, you simply hit update. But in this case, I'm going to delete this section and I'll delete this other section so that I remain with only one that we have created. Then I'll simply hit update. Now, when I come over here to my pages and I open up my builder page again, you realize that now this was the before and now this is the after. And we can navigate now to any other pages on our website, like coming to the home page. That's how it looks like. When I come to the projects page, that's how it looks like. And when I come here to the blog posts, that is how it looks like. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro whereby you're in position to create headers and footers, then HTMega also gives you an opportunity to use their HT Builder. And the H2 Builder will enable you to assign a section that you created as your header. In this case, when you come over here to the HT Mega add-ons, come to settings, and then come to advanced add-ons, make sure that you enable the theme builder. It should be in blue, and then save changes. Once you have it saved, then come over here to the HT Builder under the HT Mega add-ons, under header template, then you will have to select the template that I asked you to create. And that is the section where you created this section with all your header information, including the vertical mega menu. And here you'll simply select that section. Mine is called the header with nav. So I simply save changes. And when we go over to our plugins, just to show you that my Elementor Pro plugin is actually not activated. So I'm only using the HT mega add-ons. And that way I'm even in position to use the same header section that I created on the whole of my website. Anyway, in a nutshell, this was a quick way on how you can create a vertical menu in Elementor for free. In case you have any questions, comments about this tutorial, please let me know down in the comment box below. And in case you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when I push it out. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.